Hello YouTube, Dalton Beavers here, and today I'm going to be reviewing um, an emulator called Project 64. Um, Project 64 is probably one of the best uh, emulators for um, Nintendo 64 games, and it has an archive ability, so wherever you put all of your ROMs, you can um, you can have it to where it pulls them all up at once in a folder. Um, to get this program, you're going to want to open up your internet browser, and just type in emulator and the emulator zone will be one of the first links go ahead and click it go over to the side where it says Nintendo 64 click that scroll down to where it says project 64 and then download this one you can also download this one if you have anyone else like a friend down the road or something and it has online capabilities but I will be reviewing this one in a different video but you just click this to download you save the file go ahead and execute the file and it will run you through the installation process not all emulators have an installation function most you just uh... most you just um run through it. I'm not going to install it because I already have it installed and I don't want to risk it deleting some of my saved games because I don't know if it will or not. But after you install, it'll make a shortcut and then you can just click it and it'll open it up. Now to get the ROM directories, in order to get ROMs, just go to Google and type in ROM. It's all kinds of different websites. Um, Try typing in N64 ROMs. And there's Cool ROM, Dope ROMs, all kinds of places. I personally just downloaded entire packages from the Pirate Bay. But you can download all kinds of different games, and most of them work. Most of the good ones, anyways. And the way it does is you go to File. And you go to choose ROM directory, and you put all your ROMs in a folder. I called mine N64, and you click OK, and it'll open them all up. Now, just to give an example, I'm going to open up, let's see, Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. And the cool thing about this is um, you can configure almost everything, graphics, you can limit the frame rate so you can speed it up. Um, there's a bunch of cheats on most of these games. Like I can make myself have everything in this game. <laughs> on Majora's Mask I can make myself become Deity Link at any point. But um, you can also plug in an Xbox 360 controller and run it that way, which I usually do. And it's very fun and very nice, especially if you grew up with these kind of games or if you're new to them if you want to just explore the how games started and 64 was one of the older consoles. Well, it was kind of in the middle, but it revolutionized uh, open world gameplay like games like this. But, um, yeah. Um, thank you. And be sure to check out my BJ's Let's Plays channel because we play video games with this emulator and other video games as well and it would be nice to have some more support um, don't forget to subscribe rate comment and i'll see you guys later